Police raids across Germany. Did they foil a terror attack at the heart of Berlin? I'm Brent Goff, and this is The Day. An Algerian man arrested. Police say he was trained by Islamic State in Syria. They say he came to Berlin to kill, disguised as a refugee. And as for the real Syrian refugees... The situation inside Syria is as close to hell as we are likely to find on this earth. Billions pledged by world leaders to help the Syrians. Will the regime let those donors keep their promise? And carnival celebrations kick off in Germany. Uber amounts of dancing and drinking. And it all comes with a do's and don'ts guide for migrants. Welcome to the program, everyone. For Berlin police, the day began before sunrise. Under cover of darkness, hundreds of officers carried out anti-terrorism raids. In two other cities, the same procedure. When it was over, three people were taken into custody. And police say they were plotting a major terror attack, probably here in downtown Berlin. One of them allegedly trained by Islamic State forces in Syria, who then came to Germany disguised as a Syrian refugee. We have more on a day that has left this city and the nation on edge. Raids here in Berlin and in two other German states. The swoop was carefully coordinated by the Federal Agency for State Protection and Counterterrorism and the Federal Criminal Police in Berlin. Berlin's Public Prosecutor Office and the police are investigating four Algerian nationals under suspicion of preparing to commit a serious violent subversive act. Today, we searched the apartments of all four people. Our goal is to secure and evaluate evidence to see if the suspicion firms up or can be refuted. A 35-year-old of Algerian descent was detained at a refugee camp in Attendorn, North Rhine-Westphalia. Investigators in his home country had already issued a warrant for his arrest as a member of the so-called Islamic State. It's believed one of the other suspects was radicalized in Syria. We have four suspects in these proceedings. We have intelligence that one of them was already in the battle zone in Syria, where it's probable that he had military training. That's especially worrying, that this is a person with training and experience committing violent acts. Investigators are examining computer and mobile phones of the suspects to determine just how close Berlin came to a terror attack. Well, we now know that police found no weapons in the raids. The crucial evidence will come from inside the mobile phones and the computers that were used by the suspects. Now, some media outlets are claiming that intercepted phone data proves that the suspects were planning to attack Checkpoint Charlie and Alexanderplatz in central Berlin. Now, Alexanderplatz, a main commuter hub, it's where the iconic television tower is located. It is one of the busiest places in Berlin. Our correspondent, Thomas Sparrow, picks up the story from there. There is no other place like this one in Berlin, Alexanderplatz. This is a massive square, a major transit hub, and also a top tourist destination. Every day, thousands of people come here to visit the world white clock and the TV tower behind me. And according to German tabloid Bild, this is also the place where four people with alleged ties to the so-called Islamic State were planning an attack. Authorities do not want to jump to conclusions. Investigations are still underway. And life here also continues as normal. Shops are open, street vendors are out, tourists are also here. It doesn't seem that they are very worried about a possible attack in this very emblematic place. Well, Thomas Barrow has come in from the cold and the rain. He's in the studio with us now. Thomas, um, you, you were out there most of the afternoon. Did you notice anything unusual? No, I didn't. I mean, people were just doing their business as usual. And actually, I think that's how it should be, because we mustn't forget that this idea of a possible attack on Alexanderplatz came from the tabloid Bild, and it was not confirmed. I, I, would, I don't even know if people read 
bill, so right. I was actually expecting people to behave just normally and not to be worried about a possible attack on Alexander. Okay. So you got the impression if people had known about it, you would have had to have tell them what had happened, yes, right? Yes, exactly. I, I don't think they were very worried. You know, there were 450 police officers involved in the raids that took place uh, across Germany today, a huge operation. Uh, do we know, did police move just in time to foil a major terror attack? I don't think so, Brent. I understand this from a different perspective because these people were arrested on different arrest, uh, arrest warrants, mm -hmm. on different matters. The police obviously had some sort of hint that they could have been planning something, but I think they will now wait to see what they find on those mobile phones and those computers to see if they were actually planning an attack if they had any links with Islamic State and where they were planning an do, attack. So do we know what tipped the police off? You say that they were arrested uh, under different warrants. Do we uh, know exactly what the police were, were, you know, following them for? Well, international arrest warrants on, on one of the cases and some of the other cases were also forging public documents. Those were the initial arrest warrants that they were looking for, but obviously... Like passports. Yeah, for example. Yeah. So um, that's what they were looking for them, obviously, at first, but they obviously had some sort of hint that they could have been planning something bigger. And that brings us to the main suspect, uh, the 35-year-old Algerian man. Uh, he is in Germany illegally. We know that tonight. Um, and he came into the country disguised as a Syrian refugee. Now, that is a, you know, a political bomb right there, yes. isn't it? I think this can be used politically by those who are against Angela Merkel and her refugee policies. This is definitely not very good uh, for her. This, is, this will be used by those who say, look, I told you so. This mm. influx of refugees comes with a lot of problems. It doesn't come with so many benefits. So I'm interested in actually seeing how the government will react now. They will probably say, let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not say that all refugees are to blame for this. That's what they've said previously when people have pointed at refugees. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, the public reaction could go either way, right? You could have people saying, as you said, I told you so. They're bringing the problems here. Or you could have the reaction that people say the police are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And this is not the only case where we've seen the police acting like that. They cancelled an international football match a few months ago. We right. reported on that here. They closed a few train stations in Munich at New Year. So this is by no means the only case. I think German authorities are really trying to be careful. And that's, for example, why they launched not long ago a new anti-terror mm. unit. They want to prevent anything from happening in Germany that resembles, in any case, what happened in France a few months ago. You know, the, the German chancellor, as we've mentioned to her, um, she was in London today at that donor conference for Syria. Uh, is she still in control of the refugee narrative in this country? Well, she wants to be <clears throat> in control of that narrative, and this donor conference is one of the series of events and summits that are key for Angela Merkel in the next few weeks. If, if those events and summits are not successful, mm. then she will probably have to change her policy and the events that I'm mentioning are this donor yeah. conference, but two key EU summits that are coming that in are February, coming in March. Those are the key events where Angela Merkel will decide whether she sticks to her current policy or whether she moves to another direction. All right. Thomas Barrow, our political correspondent, as always. Thomas, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Well, this is The Day on DW. Stick around. We have more to come, including... You see that? They will not be called out again. Cologne cops called a lot of flack over the mass molestations on New Year's Eve. We're going to be looking at the PR campaign to keep the carnival trouble free. That's coming right up.